Hello and welcome to part 7 of the Bolands HT Snowplow project. As you can hit, see, we're starting off here by the mill and we're going to be continuing with the clevis forks. This is our pattern here of what we've done so far. We're doing this pattern and then we'll production line the other ones. And uh, it's got quite a nasty chip in it. So that's what made us choose that for the pattern. But anyway, what we're going to be doing is drilling this hole in our clevis forks and we've made up a bit of a system in the vise here with these two plates and a spring in the middle of it and this is so that when we put this in to be drilled it can't drop down and the spring also means that the plates will stay there if we're doing up or undoing the vise and we've also worked out perfectly so with this bit straight bit of bar here if i just quickly slide this in that's lined up ready to be drilled but of course we won't be drilling this one we'll be drilling this one so let's get to drilling with the mill just a bit of a side note before we start drilling before you may have seen in a previous video to cool down what we were drilling we were using a spray can and we've actually just now fixed the uh, cooling pump on the mill so we can use that like a professional. We finished drilling the pattern now and we've done the same on our four snowplow clevis forks but because we noticed that our deck one was actually getting quite warm we made up some extras for the deck which took quite a long time to get to this stage but now we've got them all at the same stage so we can production line all 10 of them but there's something I'd like to show you for the next step. We noticed that on here, there's actually a circular um, dip in here, which if you see, my screwdriver is straight at the moment. And if I pull it back a bit, there's a dip in there. And we found out that that is 11 sixteenths. So we've got this drill and marked how deep it goes. And that, if I can get it in the circular bit, there you go fits in there as you can see it twists because it's circular and can't move so it's now time to do that drilling on the pattern and all of the rest of them and because we've already got the mill set up we'll be doing it on there drilled that bit now and if I shine it to the light you can see, clearly see where it ends and we've done that on all nine of the other ones as well and the next job after that will be to cut this slot and we've got to do a bit of thinking of how we want to cut it and where we want to cut from we've decided that to cut the slot we're going to do multiple passes in the first one we're thinking of cutting down this side and then on the second one we're going to cut down this side and on the third one we'll have it vertical and we'll use our mill cutter to go straight through so that the bottom part here that we've marked is flat so that it looks like that.
as you can see we've got our pattern in the lathe chart here and that's because the final part of doing the clevis forks is to thread the other end and as you can see we've also got our 58 unc uh, tap in here and what we're going to do is slowly wind this in and instead of using the lathe motor we're just going to turn it by hand now we have the rest of these threaded like our pattern it's now time to give these a final clean up and then put a coat of primer on them I'm now cleaning up the cylinder ready to put primer on it and paint I'm starting off with some P80 sanding paper to get most of the rust off and then I'm going over it over it with my battery sander that one of my granddads gave me thank you We've cleaned up the cylinder and clevis forks now, and this is ready to have primer put on it. As you can see, we've put some masking tape over the elbows uh, just to stop any contamination getting into the cylinder. And we will be putting new elbows on here. But we've also cleaned up uh, our clevis forks, and these are also ready to have some primer on and then paint. It's some time later now, and as you can see, we've got a coat of primer on all eight of our clevis forks. Then we have some unplated lock nuts down here that we've also put in primer. We have hundreds of plated ones, but as we understand, these are unplated. And all of this looks very good at the moment. And then hanging up here with a coat of primer on the hydraulic cylinder. And the outstanding jobs for this project at the moment is to make the actual rods that will screw into the clevis forks. And this bit of bars just arrived for that job. And then we're lucky to actually have a blade, but it does have a bit of work. So that's another job we're going to have to do. And then cleaning it up, putting some primer on it and painting. But for those lock nuts, they will be going on the uh, rod. And then, as I said, they'll screw into the clevis forks. But with all of this in primer, it's a good time to stop for today. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Please subscribe to my channel, like this video and see our other videos. More to follow as we do more on this tractor. Bye.